Well, hello, Internet. Recently, Google changed a couple things in the Android development tools that sort of break my tutorial. So I wanted to very quickly show you how to fix every single program I create in this tutorial. It's actually very, very easy, and I'm going to show you step by step right now. Okay, so here we are in the Android development tools, and you, this is the same, this is Eclipse, everything here is exactly the same. And these are the steps you're going to have to take, it's no big deal, but I didn't want to get involved in something called fragments right at the very beginning of this tutorial, so I decided to do a very quick, easy fix. Now let's say you're inside of Eclipse and you want to create a new Android application project. You just click on that and then this is going to open up. And I'm going to do a basic hello world here. So I'm just going to call this, let's call this hello new world. Everything else is exactly the same. Then we're going to click on next and then we're going to click on next again and then we're going to click on next again. Make sure blank activity is clicked on right there. Hit next again. And here is something that previously was not in the Android development tools or Eclipse or anything. It's called Fragment Main. This is causing some havoc. So all we need to do is get rid of it. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And you're going to hit finish. Okay, and mainactivity.java and fragmentmain.xml open up on your screen. Another thing you want to do is go into the layout folder right here and also open up activitymain.xml. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to click on fragmentmain.xml, this guy right here, and you're going to select all and copy that. Then jump over into activitymain.xml, select all, and paste. You're going to save activity main, right like that. You're going to close fragmentmain.xml, right like that. Come down here to the layout. You're going to click on fragmentmain.xml, and you are going to delete it. This is going to cause some errors, no big deal. It's going to say, are you sure you want to delete this? Say yes. I'm going to create a new Android tutorial as soon as possible that is going to cover exactly what's going on here, but I didn't want to break my current tutorial because it's a good tutorial, or at least I think so. Then you're going to want to go into source, mainactivity.java. I'm just showing you where that is. It's already open, actually, mainactivity.java. You're going to click on that, and you're going to see a couple errors here. Basically, to fix all of these errors, all you're going to need to do is come in here and select this. This is inside of on create and delete it. And then you're going to want to come down further down in your code. You could also comment all this out. And just to do that, I'll do it. Let's just cut that right there. And let's paste this right there. See there, I commented it out with a star and a forward slash. And you're going to go file save. And you're going to see that the error goes away. Now you have a couple warnings here. And to get rid of those, all you're going to need to do is forward slash or comment out these imports right here if you want to. And there you go. And if you file save that, you're going to see that all the warning messages go away. And like I said, this is the basic hello world thing. I'm going to come up here now and I'm going to execute this just to prove that it works. I'm going to go new configuration on this. Or I could come down here and go to run configurations. I'm going over a lot of basic stuff here just because I'm going to put this at the very beginning of my Android tutorial. Make sure new configuration is selected. Make sure that hello new world is selected here. If it isn't, come over here and click on browse and find hello new world and click on that. Then you're going to click on this guy right here, select it, and then we're going to click on target. And the emulator I'm using is the same emulator that I talked about in part 26 of this tutorial. But if you're at the very beginning of this tutorial, feel free to use that. And I'm going to hit run. And here we can see our emulator opened up on our screen. We're just going to click on this guy, drag it down. And you can see right there, hello new world shows up, hello world, and everything is fixed. So that's how to fix the fragment issue in all across my entire tutorial. Please feel free to leave any questions and comments below. Otherwise, till next time.